guys how's it going and uh it's october 29th thank god this month's almost over <laughs> so is this marathon i'm really getting to where i'm winding down and um i'm gonna go out with a whimper because i did not finish watching kaiden like i thought i was gonna do i didn't watch it the other night i didn't watch anything the other night so I'm looking through my horror movies, thinking about some stuff that I want to talk about, and I don't want to cover stuff from other directors that I've already covered. Like, I could talk about Hostel, because I love that movie, but I already did Cabin Fever by Eli Roth. I could talk about Suspiria, but I chose to go with Deep Red for Dario Argento. So I have kind of like my own rules and boundaries that I set for myself. So you can already see in the background the movie that i'm going to talk a little bit about but it's been so long since i've seen it there's not a whole lot i can say so this is kind of just a nod to this movie it's a great movie that you know i really should watch again soon and that is from dusk till dawn it's a really awesome vampire movie and uh, i don't know if i've really mentioned any vampire movies at all i can see i haven't even broken the seal i bought this used from a uh used movie store that doesn't exist anymore it really stinks but anyways this is from robert rodriguez and from quentin tarantino and it stars quentin tarantino it also stars george clooney i'm sure that a lot of people already know about this have already heard about it but if you haven't you definitely need to check it out it says an action extravaganza by roger e ebert and it is filled with action it's very intense and but it involves vampires so yeah i'd put it in the horror category personally and i might have found out about this from the upcoming horror movies too and i you know i think i rent, originally rented this from like a family video but yeah it the fact that it stars quentin tarantino and george clooney is a pretty big deal and it has juliet lewis and it might have danny trejo but i don't remember but I'll read the back of it first. Let's see what it says. Except for, you know, Roger Ebert apparently liked it. It says, It's nonstop thrills when George Clooney, uh, we all know who he is. It says The Perfect Storm and Three Kings. Why doesn't it say ER? <laughs> and Quentin Tarantino from Pulp Fiction says, Star as the Gecko Brothers, two dangerous outlaws on a wild crime spree. After kidnapping a father and his two kids, and one of them is Juliet Lewis, the geckos head south to a seedy Mexican bar to hide out in safety. But when they face the bar's truly notorious clientele, they're forced to team up with their hostages in order to make it out alive. And one thing I remember about this movie at the beginning that's kind of memorable is that uh, Quentin Tarantino's character is like a real sicko. Like, they're both criminals. They kidnap this family. But, you know, Quentin Tarantino's really trying to come on to Julia Lewis, like trying to force his way onto her, from what I remember. George Clooney seems more of like the level-headed criminal who just wants, like, money or whatever. And, uh, you yeah, know, Quentin Tarantino's a little more of the sicko. But basically, yeah, they go to this bar, and I guess they're trying to come up with a plan or what to do, I don't really remember. But... <clears throat> In the bar, I remember there's a band playing, and just, like, when it gets dark at night or whatever, like, everybody just turns into vampires, like, in the bar. And it's like, oh my god. And then it's just, like, all hell breaks loose. Like, people, like, you see in the trailer, you see, like, there's transformations where they go from looking like, you know, a normal person, like, into a vampire. And they're feasting on people and stuff. Um... So I guess, I don't know, I think I remember the band turning into vampires. I don't know if it's just, like, the people that work there, and then maybe the people that were drinking were, like, victims. But yeah, and, and it has, like, you know, shooting and stuff. And that's basically, I think the whole movie just takes place in that bar, like, during that night. Like, all the chaos that breaks loose. And, um, they're... You know, like it said, the Gecko Brothers and the Hostages get together to survive. I think Quentin Tarantino's character might die. I don't remember who all survives in this. But I do know that some of the main characters die, pretty sure. 
But all you can say, really, is it's a vampire movie. It has George Clooney. It has Quentin Tarantino. And it, it gets right into the craziness pretty early on. You know, and there's blood and gore and stuff, too. And explosions. So, I guess this is like a two-disc special edition here. But it's a pretty cool cover of the artwork. I don't know if that's Juliet Lewis there. Or if that was like one of the vampires. But it doesn't really show much here. So I don't really know what else to say about it. I don't remember any quotes or anything. Cause it's been so long since I've seen it. But I definitely recommend it. And I don't think you really got to be into vampires a lot. A lot of vampire movies, I mean, not all of them, but a lot of them have more of a story, I guess. You know, think of like Dracula and stuff. But this one is just kind of like Blade or something, where there's just like vampires everywhere feasting. <laughs> it's not like one soul vampire or something, like the vampire in Brooklyn or whatever. Or I don't know what other vampire movies can think about. I don't think there's a lot of backstory of like how they became vampires or why they're there or whatever. It's just crap happens and like we need to survive. Uh, and so it also has the thing where like the bad guys, it's not really, I wouldn't say like the bad guys like turn good, but I mean like the criminals are forced to defend themselves and, and I guess they kind of save the hostages too, whatever. But, you know, they've gotten themselves in the deep crap. So, that's going to be it. That's a quick one, but if you haven't seen it, you definitely need to check it out. And if you have seen it, then I'm sure you know that it's awesome, too. And so you're like, yeah, it's an awesome movie. <laughs> All right. We'll see what we can do for these last two nights, but I'm just looking forward to getting them over with. So, God bless.